So I'm going to teach you how to buy canvases starting now. Hey friends, it's Becca and welcome to another video. Now this is your first time watching and you want to inspire your inner artist, learn how to paint, draw, the business of art or any other art related content, then start now by subscribing down below so you can see more awesome videos. So first of all, what is a canvas? So a canvas is kind of like a thick um, cloth almost uh, where you can use to paint on or permanently use it for painting. Now there's different types of canvases. Um, you can have a, a stretch canvas, which is uh, which you probably see in most stores where it kind of has like a wooden frame behind it. It's stretched, stapled on, to me, it's the most convenient. It's of course a little more expensive, but more convenient uh, when you're selling your paintings to clients. Um, then the second one is literally just the cloth itself. You can buy it in rolls, um, especially if you're doing like huge pieces or very custom sized pieces. Uh, I would definitely recommend getting the rolled up cloth ones because you can cut it at whatever size you want. Uh, but do keep in mind that you're going to have to create the wooden frames yourself which is a big pain in the butt and then you gotta stretch it that's another video and then the third type is literally have it almost like in a paper form too um, which is great if you're starting off and learning how to paint it'll save you a lot of money and space because if you're learning how to paint and you have tons of canvases all over the place you're eventually run out of space so there's kind of like these little booklets two of canvases um like thin sheets where you could practice painting. So those are the three types. Your traditional stretch canvas, your um, literally industrial size rolled up canvas, and the paper thin one. So now that you understand the three different types of canvases, the next question that you should ask yourself is, what are you going to do with it? Now, this is a suggestion. If you are painting for a client or you're exhibiting in a gallery or a show, I would highly recommend getting the right pre-stretched canvases. Yes, they're a little bit more expensive, but there's ways around that. Um, but they looks a hell of a lot more professional. Now, the second option, which is the rolled up ones, if you are creating a massive piece that is very difficult to transport, and you have professional people that are already going to stretch the canvas for you, build a frame, then you know what it's actually cheaper considering all the other steps you have to take um, then go ahead and get the cloth one now if you are just starting out okay you're brand new into painting you're in process of learning then i'll highly recommend the thin sheets canvases um, they, they usually come in a pack of 50 to 100 and it's just so much easier you can do all the mistakes you want it's fine you know once you're done with it you can put it in your drawer it's the difference between 100 little sheets and 100 canvases in your room or your studio there's a big difference especially when you're starting out so now that you identify you know what your purpose of using the canvases are then the next step is okay where do i go <laughs> Where do I go to buy these canvases? If you're just starting out, I have, this is the one I, actually I started using uh, when I start, first started painting. Um, I have it linked down below. It's awesome, it's great for beginners. You can go ahead and use that. Um, in terms of the long cloth ones, you're really only going to find that in, well, they don't even exist anymore. Pearls used to be the place, um, but like a truly art store which they have a bunch of different ones. Um, I actually kind of did the homework for you. Uh, the links down are below. Um, you could definitely check them out. Uh, they have those type of rolls. For if you're buying the canvases, okay. So this is what I would recommend. I would recommend going to Michael's. Okay, That is like my favorite store. And it's convenient because I just go in, purchase this and so forth. Just in the beginning, I was just gonna recommend to look at the size but yeah when you've been doing this for a while you can look at 36 36 looks like this 48 by 48 thank you so much for spending time with me today i hope you found all this information very useful um if you do make sure to put 
a like, greatly appreciate it, or comment down below if you have any questions um, or if you want to maybe share your uh, feedback in regards to uh, different types of canvases to purchase for depending on different needs. I would love to hear it, so as the viewers as well. So again, thank you so much for your time and I hope to see more of your beautiful artwork on your canvases. Please share it on social media. You can tag me at uh, Becca underscore Castell right over here. Love to see what artwork you're creating on the canvases that you just bought. And I will see you in my next video.